So in this video, I wanted to just do a quick comparison between these two Sharpie pens or markers, whatever you want to call them, that are very easy to confuse. And in fact, the difference between them is not super clear if you're just checking online. So first up, we have this. This is called the Sharpie Ultrafine Permanent Marker. That's the official name. And this is the Sharpie Pen. Sharpie Pen, sometimes uh, the, the names vary, but I'll call it the Sharpie Pen. And uh, here we have the packaging for the Ultrafine. And it says, ripped a little bit over here, but Sharpie Ultrafine Permanent Marker. And then here we have this. This is the packaging for the Sharpie Pen, Sharpie Pen. And then uh, this one they call the felt tip. Uh, so you know it's not a normal pen. And we know right from the start that this is a fine, whereas the ultrafine clearly is an ultrafine. The fine they label as 0.4 millimeters. The ultrafine does not get the same distinction. If you look through the materials, they don't say the width of the ultrafine, just that it's ultrafine. Uh, and then they, they actually, <laughs> on the comparisons here, they don't even mention the uh, the pen itself here it doesn't mention the ultrafine so it's definitely confusing uh, so let's look at the tips first up we have the sharpie ultrafine there's that tip the writing tip it, it is a felt tip and then here we have the sharpie pen on the right I'll maintain them on being on the same left and right for the rest of the video there's that felt tip uh, clearly the the two tips are both what I would consider to be felt tips. So when Sharpie goes ahead and calls one the pen, one a marker, you know, the ultrafine they call a marker, and the pen, they call it a pen, uh, it's hard to understand what the distinction is there. And I'm not even sure that the company is making much of a distinction between a marker and a pen. So uh, again, <laughs> that's why hopefully this video is going to help out a little bit. The uh, both are obviously capped. The Sharpie Ultrafine does come in a retractable version. It looks like this. We'll we'll maintain these two in the video just to avoid any confusion. But there are some varieties to to these. The Sharpie Ultrafine looks like a Sharpie. We see cap. The cap is different from that of a Sharpie. But you know, when I say Sharpie, I mean a standard Sharpie marker. But same color scheme with that sort of light gray. And we see the uh, certification here for a non-toxic design. So you see the stuff you would expect from Sharpie as it's a you know, professional tool and super popular and all that. Here we see the writing tip. It seems to be plastic at the end. This little, uh, this little gray piece is plastic. On the ultrafine retractable, it's metal. It doesn't really make any difference. They, they write the same. The body looks like a Sharpie. This posts. So you could put it in the back and not lose your cap. The pen is a good deal thinner. The body is an extra, you know, it's a millimeter or two thinner, maybe, you know, millimeter half thinner. Different style cap, kind of more of a pen type cap. All black design, kind of, again, more like a pen, more like the Sharpie S-Gel or one of those pens. The cap, it sort of clicks on and off instead of just like presses on and off the way a sharpie does it does post and very limited there's just a logo and the name here there's no uh, certifications or anything like that here it doesn't even say if it's a fine or an ultra fine or a blue or black or anything like that just sharpie and then there's a pipe i guess and then pen and then a dot so per <laughs> pen period so let's do a quick writing test to get the difference between the two. Here we have the, and these are both new. So they're, they haven't been mashed down or uh, used. This is exactly what you can get out of the box. So what's going on here? I would say with the writing experience, the Sharpie pen, it kind of has a more of a uh, pen type experience. It's definitely a felt tip, but it doesn't feel like a marker. 
this felt here is stiffer and it feels like it puts down less ink than the ultra fine even though technically a fine is you know broader than an ultra fine it actually writes to be narrower i think it's just putting down less ink than the ultra fine even though uh again it is technically wider it has more of a pen like experience and you could even see here it looks a lot lighter than the ultra fine i'm guessing they both use either the same or very similar ink but uh the the uh, uh we'll get into the ink in a second was that there are going to be some differences but Basically, this one looks a lot lighter, probably just was it's putting down less ink. I don't think the ink is probably less black than the Sharpie Ultra Fine, maybe a bit less black, but my guess is just less ink. And if we were to keep going and try to not write over the same area, but at least make the line look thicker, again, the line, it seems like it's getting closer to the uh, color of the Sharpie Ultra Fine. So Sharpie Ultra Fine on the whole has a softer writing feel to it, a broader line, and more of a marker-like feel. Sharpie pen has more of a pen type feel, putting down less ink, kind of a stiffer felt. At least kind of that's how I would describe things. Obviously, we're feeling somewhat subjective here. It's not like, uh, you know, it's difficult to quantify this type stuff. Sharpie Ultrafon very clearly described as a permanent marker. This is a thin version of the Sharpie. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect from a Sharpie, but with a thinner tip. The felt tip, what does it say? Won't ble bleed through paper, black ink, fine. Uh, again, it is described as a pen. And, uh, you know, quick drying, no smearing, durable fine tip, permanent pigmented ink, fade in water resistant. So for me, it, it actually, it's, it feels like we're describing the same thing. This is a permanent ink in the felt tip pen. I think with the S gel and some other things where you're not getting what's described as a permanent ink, then, okay, I get it. Sharpie has a clear distinction between the two, but with the, with the felt tip pen, it does have that permanent ink. It does have all the qualities you'd expect from a Sharpie marker. So I think the design is largely has to do with the sort of how the pen itself is, you know, the difference has to do with how the pen itself is designed, not so much the ink and maybe somewhat how it writes. But uh, from what I could tell, they're, they're very similar. If you want more of a pen type writing experience, get the Sharpie pen. It's a little thin. I find it to be a little bit uncomfortable to use. It's also quite long. Uh, the ultra fine marker has a more of a sharpie type shape it is wider again i find it to be a lot more comfortable and you can look at the difference here the sharpie pen is uh again capped it's about half inch longer uncapped it's actually shorter so and you could see here how the two it's hard not to get them to touch but Basically, you could see how much wider that Sharpie marker is than the pen. Probably means there's more ink in there. Guessing, it's hard to say. Neither is refillable, so it's not like we could really get at this without breaking it and creating quite a mess of permanent marker. But as far as the writing goes, I uh, I prefer holding the Sharpie Ultra Fine. It's more comfortable, it's wider. As far as day-to-day uh, -day writing goes, the Sharpie pen, I would say, is generally the way to go, just because it's seems to be putting down less ink. This uh, writing tip is probably throttling the ink throw or the how much ink is putting down somehow just to make it more pen-like. And most importantly, to slow down how much ink goes through so it doesn't bleed through paper in the same way. If you go ahead and see this, you see this. Here, we'll do the fine on top and the ultra below. Now let's flip them over and you can see the difference here. The fine, you obviously you can see it, but barely bleeds through the paper. Ultra fine, clearly a lot of bleed through. And at the end of points, uh, you see it actually very much bleeding through this paper. 
you put it down here. So if you put it here through the, and you have light actually coming through, it's uh, really exacerbating the effect of the bleed through. If you put it down here, or if we just put something behind it to stop the light from coming through, you could see uh, now, you could very much see the, uh, the marker coming through. The pen is barely, barely visible there. Here you can see the pen is not visible and the marker comes through. So that bleed through is gonna be a very big deal as well. So maybe this is not <laughs> kind of a, an obvious conclusion at this point, but the marker is good for very fine marker work and uh, it's a little bit more comfortable to hold. The pen is better for day-to-day -day writing when you need a permanent fine liner type thing. If you're just gonna get one, honestly, I, I would probably just get the pen. It, it's permanent, which is what you need and it has a more fine writing experience than the ultra fine. The ultra fine is sort of like, for me, it's more like a fine uh, because it's putting down more ink. Anyway, that should cover it. Thanks for watching.